More than 60 years ago, Johns Hopkins researchers took cells from a cancer patient named Henrietta Lacks. If you don't know the story, you should. The cells fueled medical breakthroughs but were used without her consent. Well, now her family has reached an agreement with the National Institutes of Health. And Terrell Brown reports on that story. And Terrell is with us. Good morning. And Nora, good morning to you. Henrietta Lacks cells have been used in more than 74,000 studies for six decades and she and her family were never asked for permission. They contain genetic information about the health of much of her family, and now they're getting a say in how those cells are used. In 1951, Henrietta Lacks came to Johns Hopkins Hospital with cervical cancer. While there, doctors removed some of her tumor cells and discovered they could thrive in a lab. It was something human cells had never done before. This biopsy taken from Henrietta Lacks produced a cell line that would grow essentially forever and was immediately distributed all over the world. Named HeLa cells after Lacks, they were used by Jonas Salk to discover the polio vaccine. They also aided research in cancer, AIDS and diabetes. Dr. Francis Collins, director of the National Institutes of Health, says they've saved millions of lives. This is everywhere. But Lacks, poor and uneducated, died in the hospital and the scientists took the cells without her consent. Her family's fight to control their use was chronicled in the New York Times bestseller, The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks, and is now being made into a movie by Oprah Winfrey. The message for us was that my grandmother is not just a cell, she's a person. And now 62 years later, the National Institutes of Health is giving them a say. Going forward, all research of the Lacks genome will be approved by a panel with two Lacks family members on it. This is a first thing, time in history for someone to consider the family. Dr. Collins hopes the family story will trigger a shift in science towards privacy. Let's say, may I? <laughs> and let's be sure that we have the chance to explain what that is and give the person a chance to say yes or to say no. The National Institutes of Health also said that in order to find a cure to some of these complex diseases like cancer, Patients need to be comfortable providing the type of information that was taken from Henrietta Lacks. The family won't receive any financial gains from this new agreement. This, I, this is such a fascinating story because it was taken without her consent. The right. family was not told about it. That obviously violates so many things. And yet, her cells and the, the, the growth of those have saved millions right. of lives. And so many breakthroughs over so many decades. Yes, yeah. Henrietta Lacks going down in history. Great and I'm glad story. the family's reached an agreement. Troll, thank you. Sure.